Right. Widening field is one of the most important components of the Santa Rosa County economy. Today, Congressman Matt Gates held a congressional field hearing discussing efforts to protect that base from future rounds of base closures and realignments. State, local, and military officials took part in the discussion. Channel 3's Lauren Wolf was there and has the details. Lauren. Gates says a big concern for the air station is failing equipment. He says Congress has to do a better job at funding improvements. Congressman Matt Gates says investing in Whiting Field is crucial for both the local and state economy. Create intense focus around issues of great importance. Senator Doug Broxson agrees. Every base is as important as Whiting. Now, Whiting is very important to us, but if you were to take one of these bases out of the economy, of any county in Florida, it would have a tremendous impact. Gates says settlement money from the Triumph Gulf Coast grant will help sustain the economy. Over $8 million from BP settlement money will go to enhance the mission at Whiting. That's important because there's almost no job in Santa Rosa County that doesn't in some way see a benefit as a result of Whiting being here. Gates is not only advocating for money to support Whiting Field, but the surrounding areas as well. Investing $8 million in infrastructure around Whiting will be able to bring more private sector jobs to support the military mission. Officials hope to keep the base a top priority. The, the state of Florida has done a, a good job on making sure that, that Whiting is uh, protected and important. Although Gates says the air station is in dire need of new equipment. Every other day at Whiting Field, one of the helicopters that takes off has to come back on a truck. You heard one of the for former commanders say that they call it the truck of shame, and they even fog out the windows because it's embarrassing for the pilots. That's not a consequence of bad work at Whiting. That's a consequence of poor planning by the Congress, and that's why we're working to get commercial-level replacements available so that we can have safer pilots training in our skies. Confident that the new equipment will get funded from within the U.S. Department of Defense budget, although he says the Senate took away a big chunk of money. We had a million dollars allocated to accelerate the movement to a new commercial-based aircraft for Whiting Field. Uh, the Senate took that money out, but they left within the National Defense Authorization Act the directive to ensure that that work is done. He says the Navy has 12 months to present their plan. We have put in the National Defense Authorization Act a demand for the Navy Navy to go and get a commercial off-the-shelf replacement. My expectation is we'll hear back from the Navy within the year. And Congressman Gates asked Whiting Field officials for a squad analysis. He says that'll help determine what areas need improvement at the air station, including training. Lauren Wolf, Channel 3 News.